We escorted our disheartened chief through a trail off the side of a hilly ridge, hoping to make it back to Edo safely through the dense brush. We should arrive in Edo soon, sir. Please stay close to us. Yes, yes. I know. Are you okay, Miss Yukimura? If you need a moment to catch your breath, we can stop. No, pay no attention to me. Right now, we need to keep our focus entirely on con- Before I could finish my thought, I was struck by a sinister feeling that crawled along my spine. It's my boy, Chikage. My, my. Heard the word that all of your insects were crushed before they could fly away. My suspicious feelings were confirmed when I saw... Oh, dang! Miki, when did you start referring to everybody as bugs? Look at his hair! Look at his coat! Ah! Ah, look at him! Oh, he's so handsome! Oh my goodness, look at my boy! There's my beautiful boy! <laughs> he's got one glove, dude! You rocking the Michael Jackson. <laughs> Stop, your coolness is too much for me. It, it's you, Miki. How dare you show your face to us? With your awesome new haircut. The former captain of the Shinsengumi's 9th Division, he holds a grudge against his former group for the assassination of his older brother, Kashitaro Ito. Don't flatter yourself, you snotty punk. There's only one reason I'm gracing you with my presence. Miki sneer, turning his head gently over toward Kondo, who stepped back in confusion. Who are you? <laughs> Have you finally gotten it through your thick skull that you're a worthless chief? Have you? If you had someone competent in charge, maybe you would have lasted longer than five minutes. Ugh. Oh, right, didn't we find out that Miki was responsible for Kondo being shot? It was like revenge for his brother? I think. I think that was the thing that happened. Uh oh. My boy's mad. But hey, no skin off my nose. Serves you right for murdering my brother. Now, your head, please. Miki showed his teeth, eager to draw blood, but Soma hastily stepped in front of Kondo. Miss Yukimura, there isn't much time. I want you to take the chief and run as fast as you can. Soma! I mustered a deep breath and told him. <sighs> we gotta trust our boo. As much as I want to stay from my, my other boy. <laughs> For our proper boy, we gotta show that we believe in him. It, it is smart for us to take the chief and protect him at all costs. This is our job. So you better come back to me, though. Okay. Come back to me, Soma. I believe in you. Yeah, that's right. I believe in you, boo. I am indebted to your kindness. Now, go. You think I just let them scurry away? Ever since that night, I've been obsessed with thinking of new ways to torture you. Miki used his chin to motion subtly in the direction of the tree standing behind us. It only took seconds for us to realize... We were utterly surrounded! As Imperial warriors, all of whom were clad in snug, western-styled uniforms, emerged. Whoa! Oh, this is not looking good. Before we knew it, Miki's men had us surrounded. All of his men encircled us, and breaking through their makeshift barrier was going to be a challenge. Miss Yukimura, I shall occupy Miki's attention to buy you some time. Lead the chief away. But are you going to be okay? Better than you expect. I'm a fury, after all. After nodding his head curtly, Soma turned back to face Miki, who flashed a malicious grin. Although there was some comfort in knowing that physical wounds were less of a concern to him, the sense of dread bubbling in my stomach kept on. 
<laughs> I'm just waiting for Miki's hair to turn white and someone to be like, Whoa! Soon, Soma's hair turned completely stark white. Oh yeah, by the way, Kondo, uh, Soma's a fury. I have little time to waste on the likes of you. Let's hurry and get it over with. I hoped that you would have learned some manners before we next met, but guess I'm not surprised. Do you expect things to swing completely in favor of one side as they did last time? If so, then I've got excellent news for you. What the? Sama's eyes widen in horror when... Ah! Ah! He's even handsomer! Dang! I'm sorry, I can't stop drooling over my boy. I knew! I knew as soon as he saw that that poi what that poison did to Soma, he was gonna get his hands on it. My man. Miki's hair, too, turned a similar shade of white. <laughs> a brilliant crimson glowed eerily in his eyes. I cut my hands over my mouth, realizing that he... Wh what is this? Don't tell me that you drank the water of life. But, but how did you- That's for me to know and you to find out. When I was still tethered to my weak human form, you may recall that you easily overpowered me. My turn now, chump! Dang. Miki ran at a blistering speed, getting within arm's reach of Soma before swinging in a faint attack. I wonder if he's in cahoots with Dad. Look at that face. A member of the Sekihotai, a division of the Imperial Army, his involvement with the Taxation Conspiracy led to his becoming a Fury in order to avoid capital punishment. Oh, so instead of taking the death penalty, he became a Fury? Eh. Taxation Conspiracy. <laughs> of course. No! Soma rushed to lift his sword upwards to deflect the path of his opponent's incoming blade, but... Too slow, you fool! Before Soma could even budge, Miki already had the tip of his sword pointed at his frail opponent. Oh no. Oh. Soma took a step back nervously, trying to regain his footing outside of Miki's range. Think again! Ow. Oh. Soma! I frantically wrapped my hand around my Kodachi and prepared to run over to Soma, but he cried out. D don't come any closer! I I'll be okay! <laughs> are you sure? Uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> You're a terrible actor, don't you know? Miki began kicking the ball of his foot into Soma's chest, knocking the wind out of him on the floor. Dang, this poor boy. The first part of his route was just him being kicked around, and the second part of his route is just him being kicked around. Oh no. Stop hurting Soma! Uh-oh. You've awakened the beast inside Chizuru. I clambered out at Miki to grab his attention, hurling my legs forward with my Kadachi in hand, but... Also, I have a question. What the heck is going on with Kondo? <laughs> I know he's in, like... a mood, but come on, man. Try and help, please. Stay out of my way, bitch! Gah! He slammed the butt of his sword's hilt into my gut as I charged forward without even looking. <laughs> Dang. Yukimura, are you okay? J just fine. Damn it! You'll pay for harming Miss Yukimura! Aw, did I hit a sore spot? Feel free to punish me at any time, little runt. Gah! Another day, another disappointment. So, the rumors are true. 
Sunlight renders the Sheens and Gumi's furies as worthless as a hag on the battlefield. Guess that old fogey was right all along. I knew it. It's dead. Old fogey? Miki's vague statement induced another wave of anxiety festering in the pit of my stomach. Although I had a suspicion of him it could have been, I guess that the person responsible for turning Miki into a fury was... Of course, I can't let myself forget why I'm here in the first place. Can't let Kondo go unpunished while I keep toying with the runt over here. Furies, apprehend them! If they struggle, then you have my full permission to make them suffer. Oh! But don't kill them. I want to be the one to save her killing Kondo myself. Oh, that's a lot of dring. Miki waved his hand flippantly as he gave the command, prompting an immediate response from the gang of bloodthirsty furies. One of the furies slithering towards us with feet dragged along the ground tried swatting at me. Watch out, Yukimura! Thank you, Kondo! Thankfully, I had been saved by Kondo's great reflexes as he pulled me out of the way in time. Th thank you, Kondo! Step up. I'll deal with them somehow. B but you can't handle them all by yourself! You needn't worry, young one. Lest you forget, I happen to be a master of Tenen Rishin. Tenen Rishin? Don't make me laugh. You think your third-rate swordsmanship is going to do you any favors out here, country boy? Ha 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 ha. Ah, blood. Give me... Blood! A creepy smile formed on the mouths of each fury as they sniggered while closing in on us. It was the moment of truth. Either Kondo was strong enough to subdue all of them, or... <laughs> Damn, just missed! A poorly aimed attack on a fury was a costly mistake, considering the furies regenerated their damaged flesh, flesh without breaking a sweat. What could I do, really? It was only a matter of time before Miki would get the better of Soma, who looked completely devoid of energy. Soma, no! Just as fear began to set in, a shadow whizzed past me, kicking my bangs up. Then... Amagiri? Gah! The furies around me began to cry out in pain as their blood splattered like ribbons into the air. Hey, you're one of those Satsuma bastards! Yeah! My boy! <laughs> Kiyu drew bro Amagiri in with the flying fists of justice. Ah, so good to count on you, man. <laughs> Amazing. Actually, the Empire of Japan has ordered me specifically to scope our progress in Kofu. Well, well, we meet again. I wouldn't really call this a warm reunion, but I'll take what I can get. Amagiri suddenly appeared like a phantom in a wispy fog which had clearly irritated Miki. Right back at you. Don't think I've forgotten about the Aberona Koji incident, you son of a bitch. Oh, it's you. I remember now. Weren't you arrested as a part of the taxation conspiracy? What the hell is scum like you doing here? A group that became known for its involvement in the taxation conspiracy, which labeled them as fraud conspirators in the eyes of the Imperial Army, Saburo Miki captained its second division. Well, as it turns out, a senile bastard by the name of Kodo offered a deal that I just couldn't pass up. He offered me a chance at immortality with a dose of the water of life in exchange for some muscle. <laughs> Father had offered to turn Miki into a fury! <sighs> the twist of the year. Unfortunately for you, as a demon, I am obligated to bury you six feet underground for getting mixed up in business like that. 
What? You think a measly beast like yourself stands any chance against me? How intriguing. I know little of what thoughts Kodo may have poisoned your puny brain with, but... Few reactions require double the energy of human actions, which means your body can only handle so much. Eventually, it'll kill you altogether. Did he fail to mention that, Pipsqueak? Dang, I've never seen Amagiri get so heated before. <laughs> He's like, I ain't got no time for this punk. Uh-oh. Wh what? For a brief moment, Miki's expression soured in astonishment, but he quickly played it off. No matter. As long as I send every godforsaken member of the Shinsengumi into the underworld, then my life has achieved its utmost purpose. If you still desire to oppose me, then consider yourself my first victim. My, I'm rather thirsty. <laughs> Guess you can't reason with someone who has abandoned logic entirely. Very well. Let's do. Amagiri spread his feet in an offensive stance, glancing at me from his peripherals. Run as far away from here as you can. He is mine to deal with. But, but! In truth, I was smacked in the face by confusion. Was it alright for me to trust Amagiri? A man who had been nothing but an obstacle to the Shinsengumi at every conceivable opportunity? Yes. We must go, Yukimura. But, but Let us be grateful that the demon has no intent to fight us, at least for the time being. Our men wait for us back in Edo, especially once they learn of Soma's condition. Now, come. <laughs> I was brought back to reality as I peeked over at Soma's body, lacerated and trenched in blood. My poor boy. Soma, hang in there! Here, grab my shoulder. No, no need. I c can walk by myself. Please, you're in no condition to walk. Both Kondo and I lifted Soma's body from the ground and swiftly carried him down the trail. Go on, Magiri! Aw, oh, now they're getting away. Whatever. I'll just savor our next meeting when I murder all of you immediately. Say your prayers. Well then, here I go. Even from behind us, the intense aura of their seething contempt felt thick in the tense air. I wonder if Miki stands any chance against Amagiri. With our backs turned to them, Kondo and I raced down the mountain path towards Edo. I was totally unaware of what became of them after we had left them in the Kofu forest, but... There was nothing to be gained for us, save for our lives, perhaps. More than anything, I was consumed with guilt, realizing my father was responsible for this. Not only had he cursed some of the Shinsengumi warriors, but now his new abomination threatened to disrupt the entire world with his righteous anger. Very righteous. Look, it's not delusional on my part to hope that Miki shows up again, right? I mean, he's gotta. <laughs> you can't give a guy that good a look and not have him show up again, surely. But Amigiri is super OP, so... Maybe Dad will show up with more Furies, and that's how Miki gets away. After narrowly escaping Miki's clutches, and more likely a grisly death, the three of us return to Edo. Actually... Before we get further into this... 30%? Alright. The trauma following the defeat seemingly arose most prevalently in Kondo, who often partook in... business that took him away from the compounds. He wasn't the only one, however. Yeah. Wait. You're leaving the Shinsengumi. The two of you can't be serious. Yeah, man. I've had it up to here with Kondo. Time to cut my losses and run. Is there anything I could do to convince you otherwise? It may seem difficult to believe, but Kondo seemed rather devastated about the whole thing. Well, whether or not he's feeling guilty... 
There's no way in hell I'm gonna stick my neck out on a battlefield where guys to the left and right of me can barely use their goddamn weapons. <laughs> the absence left behind by you two is not one that can be easily filled. Well, it tears us up too, kid. Trust me. It's not like we want to abandon you guys. But when it comes to matters to life and death, you gotta fight smarter, not harder. Some fell silent. There could be no convincing them. In the evening, we gather to send them off. Well, guess that's farewell from us now. Look out for Kondo and Hichikata from here on, would you? Yes, sir. You're leaving them in safe hands. I will never ever forget what I've learned from you. Like how to let someone else pay your bar tab, how to dodge an angry commander, and how to prank your friends without them noticing. <laughs> <laughs> Namora's so sassy! Aw, oh, jeez, kid. Sounds like you just took in what you wanted to hear and ignored everything else, huh? You've got some balls, you bastard. Whoa! Hey, stop! Assaulting one of your comrades is ground for death by seppuku! Well, since we're officially no longer Shinsengumi warriors, the rules of conduct don't mean diddly squat to us no more. <laughs> Their playful banter untied the anxieties weighing down my sensitive heart as if it were any other day. I suppose a part of myself was in disbelief that it could be the last time any of us spoke again. Well, later, Soma and Chizuru. If we're all somehow still alive when this war's done and dusted, let's grab a nice tall drink. Of course. I look forward to it. We all exchanged bows, and the two men smiled amiably as they spun on their heels and began walking out of the front gate. They're gone. Yeah. Mm. The mood was somber as their backs shrank, and well after they melted into the horizon... Soma and I found ourselves rooted to the spot, frozen as the moment caught up with us. It's been a while since we've said goodbye to those boys. The following night. Hijikata summoned both Soma and myself. Alright, let me be straight with you. Soma, Kondo told me that you're a fury now, is that true? Yes, sir. So. Mind explaining why the hell you didn't think to disclose such pertinent information to us? Well, as it stands, we are terribly short stuff, sir. Joining the Fury Corps could be more of a liability. Sure, but think about if you collapsed out in public, or if you got one of those frenzied seizures in front of the new recruits. We'd be in deep shit. With utmost respect, sir, I have been practicing caution to avoid exactly what you described. It's not a matter of being cautious! Whatever the case, now that you're a fury, we can't afford to let you operate in the public sphere. From now on, you take your rest hours during the day, just like Sanon and Heisuke. Wh what Sir, my body is fine! Plus, I rarely even feel the side effects. When I'm out in the sun, it's no problem. I'll be judge of whether or not you're fine, kid. That's not for you to decide. I must insist, sir. Hadn't you noticed how many of our men fled our ranks in the last battle? Stepping away from my responsibilities means jeopardizing the Shinsengumi. I felt immense pity as Soma desperately slammed his head and hands to the floor. Please, sir. I beg you. Don't strip me of my duties. I... I joined this troop to prove myself. To become a part of something greater than myself as a warrior. In that regard, I aspire to carry your torch when the time comes. So please do not relegate me. Soma. Hijikata's mouth was agape, and he shifted his eyes up and down at Soma in awe of his dedication. Dang. Look, kid. Don't get me wrong. Your heart's in a good place, and I can see that. Eventually, he shut his eyes and heaved a heavy sigh. 
Oh. Before I forget, Yukimura, is it true that Miki's a fury now too? Yes. To make matters worse, it appears my father is the one responsible for giving him the serum. Well, isn't that just a cold shit on hot rice? So, not only are those slimy bastards working together, they've got furies who can fight in sunlight too. That may be my new favorite Toshi quote. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Well, ain't that just a cold shit and hot rice? <laughs> I forget a lot of the times that Toshi's a country boy, and then he says things like that, and I'm like, ah, there it is. Hijikata bit his lip in silence, and I felt skittish watching him furrow his brow so intensely. All right, you two. Dismissed. All right. Thank you for your time, sir. Without waiting for a response, Soma apprehensively rose from the ground and started for the exit. Soma, stop being so goddamn stubborn. You might think you're fine now, but... So far, every fury who served here has eventually succumbed to their affliction. If you insist on burning your candle at both ends, you might as well stick a sword in your gut now. Uh, understood, sir. The scathing warning puts Soma in disarray. Poor boy. Then he promptly exited, keeping his mouth shut. A wise decision. Oh. Even after Hijikata's door was slid shut, Soma kept his eyes at the ground in stunned silence. Ah, uh, Toshi has that effect on people. Um, Soma... I made a meager attempt to call out to him when... Ugh. Soma balled his right hand into a tight fist and began furiously punching into a support beam. Soma! Ow. He ignored me and instead kept slamming his knuckles against the hardwood with belligerent ferocity. At some point, I was certain that he would break his hand, but he seemed unfazed by any notion of pain. Ah. As I feared, the skin between his front two knuckles split open and blood gushed, staining both the beam and the floor just underneath it. Even so, his relentless assault continued. Thank you, girl. I'm like, hug him! Something! Do touch him, please! Get him to stop! Stop already! Please! I grabbed a hold of his right arm to restrain him. He heaved in deep, panted breaths, and I felt his heart race as my body wrapped tightly around his. I train day in and day out, honing my fury powers. But I was still no match for Miki. If that demon hadn't come in at the nick of time, then the chief would be... His hand trembled violently as it rested against the support beam, and the blood continued to flow. Tell me. What am I supposed to do now? No matter how much I train, there isn't enough time to get as good as I need to be. And no matter how hard I try, I'll never measure up to what Inoue and Yamazaki were to these men. All of Soma's inadequacies came to light, and my heart felt heavy hearing what tormented him. Well, that's something out of your control. You are not Inoue, and you aren't Yamazaki. You are you, Soma. Tell me! Tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to do! Why did I even drink the water of life? Should I have just died back in Kyoto, huh? <laughs> I was at a loss for words, and without any insight to offer him, I lowered my head in shame. Soma, I need to treat your hand. Don't bother. This is nothing. I'll just let it heal soon. But if some of the other warriors catch on, then they might realize something's up. Just wait here so I can fetch some medicine and a clean washcloth, okay? He averted his gaze, silently wallowing in his own pity. But after a few seconds, he nodded. Okay. 
It was a small victory, but I took what I could get and left him to fetch supplies from the stock room. 